Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 22 to 33, where it is written, Immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. After he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat by this time was a long way from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walk, uh, walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, and he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took a hold of him, saying to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, Jesus walks on water. Not humanly possible, but when you're fully God, in addition to being fully human, well, all things are possible. And they're like, it's a ghost. No, guys, it's me. Peter, big mouth, command me to come out to you. Okay. Peter's walking in water. Peter's not fully God. He's fully human, and he's fully human. That's it. And he's walking on water, too. All right, Jesus, good job. Uh, uh. Oh, boy. Winds, waves. I'm sinking. Lord, help. Peter, come on. Okay, I'm back on my feet again. Oh, you of little faith. Why did you doubt? And this is the interesting part about this account. Peter did not doubt Jesus. It's the, hey, it's the Lord. Command me to walk out to you. Okay, I'm walking on water. Peter had no doubts with Jesus and his authority. Why did you doubt? Peter was not doubting Jesus. Peter was doubting himself. Our Lord called him, come out, and he, Peter walked out on the water, no problem. But then he saw the circumstances, the winds, the waves, and oh, he panicked, he started to sink. And he's like, Lord, save me, Peter. You don't doubt me. Of course, don't doubt yourself. I'm God. I'm the Messiah. I command you to come out to me. Don't doubt the call that I gave you. So our Lord touches him. Peter's faith is restored and he's back walking again. And that's my love about this. It's not about doubting God. It's about doubting yourself. Or more accurately, doubting the call that God has given Peter. Or for us, it means... Doubting the call that God has given us. Sure, we all have faith in God. He's God. He's going to do what he wants. We all know that. No problem. And God's not just sitting in the cloud, you know, playing solitaire or taking a nap. He's active in our world. Through us, his church. Now, in our head, we know that. And we know that as his church, we have a call. That we're working with Jesus to reclaim this creation with him. Loving God, loving our neighbor. And we know the specifics of that. Those are our marching orders, but in our context, we know our own specifics best. As we go out to complete this mission, to love God and love our neighbor, we have doubts about ourselves and that call. Can I really do this? Am I really capable? And we doubt. Not God, but we doubt ourselves, and we doubt the call God has given us. In those moments, we look to this text. We see even Peter, the leader of the apostles, doubted the call our Lord gave him. Until our Lord said, don't doubt. I called you. And Peter's back on track. So it is with us. We remember that, yes, just like Peter, we have a divine call in our own lives to serve and work with our Lord. And when we doubt ourselves, we doubt the call given to us. We get problems. 
In those moments, we need to stop. We need to regroup. Remember, yes, God is God. His will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Not magically by itself, but through us, his church. We realize our Lord is with us in the storm. That what we are doing is important, for Christ gave it to us. He didn't die and rise for us to go to some vacation. He died and rose for salvation, for this world, for us, and for all. It's time to live as such. So don't doubt it. Believe it. And believe God has you here for a purpose. And get out there. God's call is irrevocable. And he has called you. Just as he has called Peter. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the fact that you are God. That you never ever fail. In your call, Lord, may we live as such confident that in your call, your will will be done. May we not be fearful, but fearless, Lord, in you. Amen.